Welcome in, everyone. I'm Matt Seneca from PJ Tube, and I'm here today with Kyle Ingram, Manford, and Kelly Phil, stainless steel engineering manager. Kyle, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, no problem. And uh, everyone, if you've been following along, thanks for viewing our weekly our weekly video series here, our employee engagement video series. Um, keep keep sharing, keep subscribing, keep liking. So moving on to what you do here, uh, you participate in Ironman contests, marathons, ultra marathons, 5Ks. Uh, explain how one gets into that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, for me, it was just wanting wanting the ability to compete. I, I take a lot of pride in competing and I'm a very competitive person and kind of exit the college time. Um, I didn't really have a sport that I was getting into and uh, I, I just chose, I had a friend who was running um, and I chose to just get into running. Uh, it, you know, it takes, it, I'm, I'm very prideful of being disciplined and, and to be able to run that far, you, you have to be very disciplined to do it. So um, it, it just really mashed well with me. I actually don't like to run, um, <laughs> especially those first four miles. Those are, those are terrible. Yeah. Uh, but um, I like, I like, of course, the accomplishment afterwards. And really, I started from couch to 5K and um, worked my way up to a marathon, then ultra marathons, and then I did uh, some obstacle course racing um, uh, and, and did some marathons and some ultra marathons and obstacle course racing. And then uh, uh, training now for the uh, Ironman uh, in, in May uh, 2021 in Tulsa. So, so we all, most people know what a marathon is. What, what makes it ultra then? Ultra basically is is uh, it's more than 26.2 miles. Okay. Um, and and it can be up to 75 miles. Oh God. Um, so uh, it's, so it's somewhere in there. Um, and based on the course, the the total distance can change. But the okay. most I've ran is is 30 a 36 mile uh, ultra. And is that all? And that's all in just one shot then, right? There's no one shot. Yeah, one shot. So you have to be just pretty much dead at the end of that, right? uh pretty much yeah of course if you're not dead then you haven't given it your all so yeah. every single race no matter the distance you've got to feel dead uh, but uh from from mile four to mile 20 it's pretty enjoyable uh but but after you start getting about mile 20 you really start having to use your mental mental grit to get through the rest of it so i would imagine just kind of physically you're starting to break down at that point right like yeah that, absolutely absolutely yeah. you have to you have to hydrate well. You have to nut nutrition uh, is very very key uh, in those stages of the run. You have to have done that early on and, and done that really well. And uh, I've learned a lot in in running nutrition, so uh, that's key to be able to go that far. And you're saying that after mile four is that when that kind of that runner's high we hear about kicks in, sort of? Is that what that is? Yeah, for me for me it's about mile four. Some people are lucky and they hit it around mile two. <laughs> uh, it, it takes me a grueling four miles to hit it, and it feels like you're running in quicksand until about that point. But from there, your your heart rate uh, lowers uh, down in probably the the 70 or 80 percentile of max heart rate, and okay. you you stop sweating as much. Uh, your cardio your cardiovascular system is working in full speed, so so it's easier to breathe, and uh, your muscles feel numb. Uh, and yeah. that's what I call the runner's high. That's what it is for me anyways. And, and then once you hit that point, it's really just based on endurance. Um, and it'll feel that way until your muscles start breaking down. So. Gotcha. Okay. And then with moving on to kind of the, the, you were saying obstacle courses as well. So they have obstacles within a marathon and an ultra marathon. Is that, is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, there's, there's, uh, the Tough Mudder series, which is a half marathon, uh, that's more of a team-based uh, uh, run, and it's, of course, through the fields and hills and mountains and valleys, and they put obstacles every mile or so. And then they have the Spartan Series mm -hmm. that is, uh, is a half marathon, marathon, and ultra marathon distances with, with uh, up to 60 or 70 obstacles um, and, you know, crawling through the mud, climbing ropes, they're, uh, <laughs> carrying a sandbag to the top of a hill for like a mile. Oh, God. Uh, me and a friend, uh, Jeremiah, did one in uh, Colorado, and we literally had to carry a, a, a 50 pound sandbag for a mile up a mountain, climbing about 2,000 feet of elevation, oh halfway God. through this uh, through this uh, ultra. So it was, it's they can be pretty intense. Jeez, yeah, that's crazy. I have never uh, never done that. I was thinking about doing a, a 5K, kind of getting into it. I've been riding an indoor bike here during COVID, so yeah. 
I'm weirdly in better shape than I've been in a while, so that's <laughs> that's good. I went the opposite way of the COVID body, thank God. So that's <laughs> um, kind of ask you also about: Do you have like a like a specific memory or accomplishment of these contests that you that kind of sticks out that you kind of maybe overcame something? Uh, my first marathon, uh, you know, that's that one's special. You uh, when you go into your first marathon, you almost feel like oh, it's it's going to be really hard. Uh, yeah. And it was such an accomplishment for me to do my first. I uh, I'm pretty physically challenged with in the running world. I'm I'm heavier than most people. Uh, I've got the flattest feet in the world, <laughs> and and my knees. I've had surgery on 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 my knee, my left knee. I've got some screws in it. So I've got a lot of physical excuses not to run. Right. And just to just to um, have pushed myself through that uh, through that challenge and have the discipline and the determination to pull that off. I was really proud of that. And of course, just wanted to keep going and push, push, uh, raise the bar um, and do more, do better. And, and I'm just continue to go. So that's kind of what prompted me to do the Ironman in Tulsa. I, I kind of, I kind of put that as the pinnacle of, of endurance sports. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, I'm probably going to shift gears and, and maybe go into the CrossFit world and uh, try some of the CrossFit stuff instead of, endurance it's more fast paced high cardiovascular and it integrates some upper body strength and uh so really to me it's about staying disciplined um keeping keeping my mental my mental strength sharp and that's really why i do it and and that's what i enjoy about it so all right well great yeah that sounds great i think uh i'm gonna have to hit my 5k now especially (laughs) after this interview so (laughs) for sure for sure yeah. 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 No, thanks. I don't, I don't think I'll be hitting the ultras anytime soon, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Kyle, thanks again for joining us. We had a great time and uh, thanks for sharing your story. Okay. Thanks, Matt. No problem. Thanks everyone for joining in again and um, tune in next week. We'll keep going. Keep liking, sharing and, subscri- and subscribing. Mm-hmm.